Hello, it's almost Halloween, can you tell? Well, today I am making a graveyard taco layer dip. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna be making mine with some homemade guacamole and refried beans and a lot of other little goodies. We're gonna layer it all up and then we're gonna finish it off with a graveyard scene made out of flour tortillas. It's really awesome and I can't wait to show it to you. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Are you ready to get started with our Halloween dip? All right, let's go over those ingredients. So here we go. I've got here some refried beans. Now these are my homemade refried beans and I'll leave you a link down below in the description and you can make that if you want to or you can use canned if you're short on time. Now back here, I've got some iceberg lettuce which has been finely sliced and then chopped up. You want the, the lettuce to be nice and small, small pieces. And you wanna use iceberg because it holds up better in this dish and it has a little bit of a crunch to it. Uh, we'll need some sour cream, which I have back there. Here I've got my uh, hamburger. We're going to be frying that up, and I'm using organic and 100% uh, grass-fed beef there. We'll need some sliced olives. Right here I've got some tomatoes, and with the tomatoes you just want to slice them and, and then cut them into chunks, so you have a nice little chunky little tomato there. Uh, behind that is the green, uh, green onion that I chopped up and I want to just use the green for that and I'll explain why later. And then over here I've got my taco seasoning, which you can make from scratch, which I think is 100 times better than what you get in the store in a package. And I'll leave a link for that as well in the description below. And behind that there is some jalapeno peppers, which if you're making this for a kid's party, you probably want to leave those out. But if you're doing it for adults, go ahead and toss it in. We'll need a little bit of water. Here I've got some guacamole, homemade of course, and I'll leave a link for that in the description below for you as well. And you'll notice there's some plastic wrap on it, and I did that so I could keep it from oxidizing and turning brown. We'll also need some grated cheese. I'm using mild cheddar here, and we'll need some flour tortillas. So we're gonna start off by frying up our meat. We need to brown our hamburger meat. So I'm gonna place that in the pan, and we're gonna brown it up. Now I'm waiting to add any of the spices, the taco seasoning to this, because if your hamburger has a lot of fat in it, like this has a little bit, you're going to want to drain that out before you add your spices. That way when you go to drain out the fat, you're not draining away your spices. The fat's drained out, so now it's time to add in our spices, the taco seasoning. So I'm going to sprinkle that in, and I'm going to add some water to that so that it will uh, you know, mix into the meat. My temperature is uh, medium-low at this point, so you want to stir this to combine, and then I'm going to let this simmer for just a bit so that the uh, liquid can evaporate a little bit. So while our meat is sitting back on the stove cooling off, we want to have everything nice and cool before we assemble. Now we'll take the time to go ahead and do our creative stuff. So I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and we're going to work on our uh, graveyard site. So I have a little tree here that I cut out of just regular computer paper and that's my template and I'm going to use that to carve it out of my flour tortilla. So I recommend using a very small knife. It'll give you better control and of course be careful. So I'm using a paring knife here and I'm just going to follow the outline of my tree. Now you can always go on the web, find yourself a scary tree, just google a scary tree and you'll find pictures of this and you can print it out and then you can cut out your template. That's what I did. So when you're doing this, you want to put your fingers onto the, onto the template a little bit. Always try and cut away from your hand, that way you uh, won't accidentally lose any fingers. Uh, when you start to cut this way, then I, I go on the outside here and I just point down. Like I said, keep your fingers out of the way and try to hold the paper down. You see how I'm holding the tip down over here? Just keep moving your hands around. All right, so when you go to take this out, you can also cut pieces off like this. You can take out small sections at a time and you don't accidentally tear off your tree in case it didn't cut all the way through. So now we have our tree. Now here you can just cut out headstones uh, any size you want. So, so I'd cut out headstones like that. Now I'm going to try and cut out a ghost freehand and you can try that as well or draw yourself a template and then follow the template. And there's my ghost, all right? So 
So our decorations are gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for somewhere between eight to 10 minutes. Keep an eye on them, check them at eight minutes and see how they're doing. You want them to be just nice and golden brown. Our tree and headstones came out of the oven. It took a little bit longer than I said originally. It depends on the pan that you're using. So this one took about 15 minutes to get nice and golden brown like you see right here. Now I went and got some uh, gel here. This is in the baking section of your grocery store. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little decoration on the headstones and make little faces for the ghosts. All right, so I'm just gonna make some eyes here. The ghost. And then on the headstones, I'm just gonna write R.I.P. Rest in peace. So now we're ready to put our dish together. So I'm gonna start with the beans and I'm gonna just put them into my casserole dish here. This is probably a 10 by 10. And I'm just gonna spread out the beans. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the beef right on top. Next will be our sour cream. Now this can be a little bit challenging to spread around on top of the meat because it wants to kind of stick. But just work it in. And I'm using two spatulas to help spread it out. All right, so we got that worked in. Now we're gonna go into the guacamole. Okay, so we got that, and now we're gonna put a nice layer of guac. Look at that, oh, I love that guacamole. All right, there's our guacamole. Now we're gonna do the cheese. So I'm gonna give a sprinkle of cheese all around there. I'm gonna put a little lettuce next. Now this is our, this is what I consider the, the grass, if you will, in our, in our graveyard. Now I'm gonna throw in some tomatoes. You could do salsa if you like, but you know I had those tomatoes that I chopped up. And I'm just gonna toss some of those in just cause they're so good. Now for some green onions, more green grass. Not like the drought we're having here in California. We have rain in this graveyard. Okay, I'm gonna put a few olives. I have a few sliced olives just to toss around. All right, so now we're ready to decorate. So carefully pick up your tree. Isn't it cute? And hopefully I can place it in here without cracking it. So it stands up. Okay, good, got that. And then we can just stick our little headstones in various locations. Put in our ghost. Still a little bit wet, but it's okay. I try not to touch it up. Look at that. So guys, that's how you make the graveyard taco dip. Pretty easy and a lot of fun. And I think your guests will really enjoy it. So it's great for obviously Halloween parties for kids and adults. Everybody will love it. In fact, I'm gonna sneak a little taste right down here in the corner and see if I can get a little bit of everything. Oh yeah. I really think that homemade refried beans are where it's at. Man, that's good. The guacamole, the sour cream, the cheese, everything together. The tomatoes, I mean, you name it, it's great, guys. I hope you'll try it and you know, make it for your, you know, your Halloween party. You could even do it for Super Bowl, any party you want. It works for everything. So thanks so much for watching and uh, have a great Halloween. I know that's coming up. And um, you know, if you enjoyed this video, be sure and share it. Give me a thumbs up and click that like that button right up there to subscribe. So thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Happy Halloween.